Okay, uh, got a couple things. Huh, sorry. Got a couple things I'm gonna go over. A couple new items I made. Um, a couple, uh, ideas that you guys can mess around with at home. Um, I'm gonna show what I'm gonna be giving away for the free giveaway. Uh, I got an update on the custom, not the custom, the modded Shuko. So, we'll start it off with uh, this piece. This is a uh, reproduction of an item that uh, Dean sent me. Uh, from what I can remember, it's called a Toboguchi. It's all solid welded. 3 16th steel. It's double pinned onto a wooden shaft. A leather stitched handle. So, definitely I could do some pounding with this. It's really strong, but it's going to end up being just a showpiece. So that's that. We'll get that out of the way. Um, one of the other items is a type of uh, hidden hand weapon that I'm, I made one of these a long time ago and I saw it in my collection and I didn't like it. looked like crap, so I decided to redo it. Uh, it's pretty much this. The name of this is slipping my mind, so anyone out there just add that down there for me, that'd be great. Uh, this is also one solid piece of steel. Uh, the holes were drilled in each of these positions. These pieces were stuck in and welded from the inside and then ground. You can see right there where it was ground. All solid studs, three spikes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I like it because when I welded it on the inside, there's no welds on the out around any of these studs or spikes, so it looks pretty clean. So that's that. It's pretty cool. Um, an idea for bow shirkin. Uh, these are some that I've used a lot. Uh, they're about 8 inches long. Uh, this is 5 16 thick. It's a uh, hex shaft design that tapers down to a point. This is all round and then right about in the middle it forms into a hex shaft. And these I actually bought, when I bought this piece of steel it looked 90% like this. It just didn't have uh, sharpened tip. Uh, this is actually a 5 16 long punch used in metalworking. Uh, I had an extra one of these at, in my toolbox so I made one up and I liked it so much that I looked at some catalogs and some magazines for some tool stores around my house and found that you can buy these for the one place I found I think was $4.95 a piece. And that's uh, kbctool.com. Uh, look uh, for 5 16 long punch or drift punch. Just make sure you get the one that's the longer one because they make a shorter one. But they're pretty good. They're already hardened. They're real tough because they're made for metalworking. So I like them. They fly really nice. Uh, you can even get them in uh, 3 8 thick. Uh, I like the 5 16 not too big in your hand but that's that um, lock picking I saw Anthony did a video to where one of his researchers was talking about you should know how to pick locks and you know it's, it's not an easy skill to learn you know, it's taken me a long time to get it down to where I feel comfortable with it but if you go on YouTube, 
you know you can find a lot of videos on lock picking on how to make them on how to pick locks uh, there's a lot of good forums and websites out there. I know lockpicking101.com is really good. They got a lot of great forums on that showing you how to make them, what materials you can make them out of. And this is uh, one of the many sets that I have. I made this all myself uh, with a Dremel and a bench grinder. I got all the designs off of... Uh, the lockpicking101.com uh, they're all made out of a uh, windshield wiper blade inserts which is a long metal strip it's almost two feet long and some inside your uh, windshield wiper for your car they come in all different thicknesses and widths and everything else if you want to know which ones to use message me I'll let you know but pretty much I made all these you know, it didn't cost me anything. The only thing that cost me some money was this uh, black shrink tubing that I put around it, which is pretty cheap. Yeah, I think you can even get it at the dollar store. But very easy to make. Just take some time, you know, search the internet a little bit. They'll teach you how to use them, how to make them. You know, grab some padlocks around the house, and while you're watching TV, just mess around with it. You'll pick up pretty quick on it. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, the modded Shuko. They're almost done. I just ordered the leather uh, yesterday. So that should be coming in. So, I'm not going to do a big description on these. Because I'm going to do a full video uh, this weekend once they're all finished on what materials I used, where I got them, how much they cost, what tools I used, you know, where I got them, how much those cost me. Um, I'm going to go step by step on how I did all this, uh, step by step on how I formed the rings, which is surprisingly pretty easy. Uh, everything I've done on these so far has been at home in my garage with very minimal tools you don't need that much and if you do they're not that expensive and I think if I when I added up everything that I'm using for this it's probably somewhere around like 50 bucks so if you're you know consider getting a a nice traditional style parachuco for 50 bucks instead of spending you know 100, 200, you know, I've even seen them for like $275 in some places. That's ridiculous. So, I'll go over all that this weekend and show you guys. Uh, last of all is I'm just going to show what the free giveaway is. Uh, when I do the video on the Shuko, that's when I'm going to have the question or whatever I'm going to do for the free giveaway item, which is a hand claw. Uh, solid three-quarter inch steel. These are a uh, quarter inch round shafts that go all the way through the steel and are pinned. Uh, forged and bent over and sharpened. Um, I didn't weld them because I wanted to make this as traditional as possible. So these are actually press fit inside these holes. Which means this, the hole I drilled was a little bit smaller than the actual diameter of this. And they were actually pressed in. And then I drilled holes in the center of each one. And uh, pounded a solid pin. A solid steel pin in there. So these things aren't coming out. They're not twisting. You know, these are really nice. So, that's going to be the free giveaway. Uh, like I said, I'll uh, announce that when I do the video on the Shuko this weekend. So I hope everyone, you know, studies up on their history. Not particularly Japanese. So, that's that. I uh, think that's about it. Uh, it's Tuesday night, so Tosh.0, oh, the new season's starting, so that's what I'm about to go and do. 
So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like I said, look, uh, watch for the new Shuko video coming up on a demo on how to make these or an explanation and all that other good stuff and the free giveaway. So that's about it. See you guys later.